they say there are more than 11 dimensions that are generally beyond human perception. But have you ever wondered what would happen if by chance you get some kind of ability to look into those dimensions? Welcome my horror fans, this is your host Alex here, and today I will tell you one of the weirdest stories I came across in my journalism career. This story is about Lana Thomas. Lana was a Korean sales executive for a global shipping giant. Her job required her to travel to various places. One of her business trips brought her to a town called Segovia, a Spanish town known for its well-preserved historic architecture, Roman aqueduct, and medieval fortress. For Lana, Segovia was a new place, so she needed a hotel to stay during her trip. She found a nice hotel close to her workplace. It was a well-furnished hotel, and all the staff and management of the hotel seemed well-behaved and friendly to her. They offered her a luxurious suite at a surprisingly affordable price. Everything seemed perfect. But beneath the surface, a secret lurked, waiting to be unraveled by Lana's keen eyes. Anyway, it was her first day in Segovia, and after a spending long day in the office, Lana finally returned to her room. It was a very hectic day, so after returning Lana rushed to her bathroom to freshen up. Everything was going perfectly, all of a sudden she heard a sound, it was like someone or something just entered her bathtub. Curious Lana went to her bathtub to check what was going on. But nothing was there. Assuming it was just her imagination, she left the bathroom. However, as she walked down the hallway, checking messages on her mobile phone, she heard another sound coming from the bathroom. This time, it sounded like someone had closed the plastic curtain of her bathtub. Feeling uneasy, Lana cautiously returned to the bathroom to check. As usual, it was a clean bathroom with no stress of anything unusual there. Lana carefully moved towards her bathtub again, but nothing was there. So, she decided to close the curtain of the bathtub and walk back thinking that it was her mind playing tricks on her. But, not this time. This time as she was closing the curtain, she saw a dark figure with long hair lying in the bathtub. Terrified Lana ran out of the bathroom. Unable to fathom the situation, she decided to call the emergency for help. Before Lana could dial the emergency number, she heard another sound emanating from her bathroom. Determined to confront whatever was causing these disturbances, Lana armed herself with a kitchen knife returned to the bathroom. This time, she went straight to the bathtub, but it was empty once more. Closing the curtain, she braced herself, and there it was, the dark figure reappeared. Lana opened the curtain, but the entity vanished. Realizing that the curtain was acting like some sort of a medium, allowing her to see the entity, Lana closed it again. To her horror, this time, the entity was now standing. Cold chills ran down Lana's spine as she faced the terrifying figure. Terrified, Lana jumped back, tearing the curtain from its pole. But her ordeal was far from over. As Lana looked back, she saw wet footprints on the bathroom floor, following her and getting closer. Panicked, Lana fled the bathroom once more, only to feel as though the entity was chasing her out. Despite being invisible, Lana remembered that she could see the entity through the curtain. So using that torn shower curtain, she searched frantically, hoping to catch a glimpse of the malevolent presence. Finally, she spotted it, but this time, the entity lunged at her, wrapping her in the very curtain she had been using to search for it. After a desperate struggle, Lana found it increasingly difficult to breathe. The entity exerted inhuman force, bending her backward. Despite her best efforts, Lana's back was broken, and she began to lose consciousness. As her vision blurred and her strength waned, Lana finally gave up, succumbing to the lack of air and the unbearable pain. 
Slowly, she slipped into unconsciousness. Her fate is now sealed by the malevolent entity. It was the last of Lana. The mysterious circumstances surrounding Lana's death leave many questions unanswered. While the autopsy indicated heart failure as the cause of death, the unexplained broken back and her wrapped up in the shower curtain at the time of her death suggest a more sinister explanation. However, any outside interventions were not found in her room. So, what do you think was the reason for Lana's demise? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Was it possible that Lana unintentionally disturbed entities from another dimension, leading to her tragic demise? The curtains in her room could have acted as a medium, allowing her to see into those dimensions, but also making her vulnerable to their influence. Or, was Lana somehow targeted or manipulated from the beginning by the hotel staff, possibly as part of a ritual or offering to these otherworldly entities? The hotel staff and management's weirdly nice behavior and giving her that very expensive room at a cheap price could indicate some knowledge or involvement in these events. Ultimately, the truth behind Lana's death remains shrouded in speculation, leaving us to ponder the existence of other dimensions and the dangers they may hold for those who inadvertently cross their paths. As we conclude our tale, I urge you to please like this video and subscribe.